Let's see here. Let me make a phone call. Hello? Tax guy? How are we looking this year? Not good. Yeah, I didn't think so. Last year wasn't too good. I still owe them. Oof. What about this year? Oof. So I won't be able to get that new gun? No. I'm going to have to sell some guns. The IRS can go. God, probably the number one questions I always get almost every day is about the Silver Eagle. The videos I did on it, it did really good. And actually a couple websites and companies use it for advertising some of the videos, which is cool. Uh, but I'm always getting asked questions uh, about it. So I'm just kind of here today to kind of go over some different magazines, different ammos at work. Uh, we're going to just shoot it and talk at the same time about, about the gun reliability and such price points uh comparison just make sure the wind don't blow it over because it's a little sketchy sitting on the table and yeah so let me get set up here get a couple old tvs and such down there and get doing some shooting a silver eagle okay real quick before i do any shooting while well, i still got all this stuff out i'm just gonna go over the magazines real quick so it comes with a five rounder and then this only holds two and one in a chamber three for hunting and you can also get the they have a factory 10 round mag which works good and then you can get this guy i got this at rural king and i got it online it was actually the cheapest price too this is a i think it's 20 but it might be advertised 19 i think it only holds 19 i don't even think it holds 19 even I think it could only get like 15 in it because of the bend and stuff. But we'll, we'll try it out. I don't think I ever tried it once. So try that. That is a drum mag. Like I said, it's not made for this gun. I made it work. I did a video on it. So if you guys want to uh, see that video, just leave a comment or something. And I'll maybe put a link or something for that video in the description. Uh, it actually works pretty good now. But them are the magazines. I'll go over to ammo as I shoot. Do any shooting too? I'll just go over to ammo real quick. Uh, if you're buying this gun to shoot birdshot, you gotta understand that it's not a Benelli. It's not a twelve hundred dollar Benelli. It's gonna jam sometimes with birdshot. Okay, it's just just what's gonna happen because birdshot is not much, you know, oof there. This the Winchester Super X, the twelve ninety feet. These work very good in this gun, okay? These ones I got at Walmart, they're 1290 feet also. I got like 500 of them back when it was cheap. They do not work. They will work, but you'll jam like a lot with them. I never tried the Winchester the white box at Super Target. So we'll try that. I think the Remington's worked okay. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, so I always say if you're using this gun for defense... Stick with a factory five or ten round mag and use double up buck. Two and three. Oh, that is three inch. I didn't even realize that. Crap. <laughs> so this gun, it, it works two and three quarter shells great. Three inch ones, like this hole, is not big enough. It will jam in there. So I did not realize I grabbed three inch instead of two and three quarter. I think I have some two and three quarter in here though. Because this is kind of hodgepot. Yeah, I got some two and three quarter in here. So, I'll try that. But, I'll get set up. Okay, so I got five two and three quarter inch. Ooh, sorry. They are kind of hard to load the mag. I got five two and three quarter inch buckshot in here. So, it's not, uh, for the price of this gun, I think I got like 400 bucks, which was a good deal. Uh, usually around about $500. So, like I said, you're not buying a Benelli for, you know, it's not a $1,200 Benelli. Keep that in mind. Uh, so, a lot of people buy these just for fun. And that's the only thing I use it for. Every time I go shooting, I always just grab the Silver Eagle, man. It's just so much fun. So, I got five, two and three quarter buckshot. Okay, so I'm going to 
Yeah. See, there's a jam there. Make myself a liar, huh? She's still quite pretty good. So I think that was a mag fault because it definitely, uh, <laughs> she definitely like got all wonky in there. So, well, there you go. It usually works pretty good. I don't know if I was sitting on the mag or not, but <laughs> that's what happened. Yeah, I think it wasn't in a mag, right? So, uh, I'll load up, uh, I'll load up some uh, Winchesters here in the same mag track. Yeah, I got five of uh, Winchester Super X loaded up here. <clears throat> So one thing I will say about this gun though, like far as quality, I mean, I had it for several years, fired, man, hundreds, if not thousands of rounds out of it. And it's been a good gun. I broke the bolt or the firing pin once they sent me a whole new bolt carrier group and then the trigger, or I mean, not the trigger, the safety. I'm always breaking the safety. It's like, doesn't really latch too good. I forget what's in there. It breaks, but I mean, this is my, this is my safety. So not too worried about that stock it does kind of vibrate when you I tighten it up maybe we shoot some buckshot all right so we got five more in there so yeah we're good and then i'll load up the 10 round with it and try it okay so i think i got 10 in here I'll try to do a little quicker shooting with it. Tack rack it. <laughs> There's all 10 rounds, man. It works good. Like I said, I think that that one was, uh, I had it sitting in the mag wrong, I do believe. So let's load something else up. Yeah, I moved you guys up on the table. You can see a little better. So I got these uh, Winchester Super Targets. Never tried them before in here. They're only 1,200 feet a second. I don't know if they're going to work. Got 10 in here, and then I got my five round mag. I'll try to, if they do work, got a plastic TV. All right, there's 10. <laughs> ah, yep, so that one did not, yeah, no, it didn't chamber. It wasn't too bad. <clears throat> So that worked pretty good, but like I was saying, if you're shooting bird shot, that's going to happen every now and then. So it usually doesn't happen at two and three quarter, but she did today, made me a liar. Uh, so I'll load up that 20 round stick and see if we can get it to work. Yeah, so I could only get 15 in here. Uh, I was going to get the, they make this Silver Eagle. This is the SE 122 Tactical. They make uh, the TAC Pro which is all aluminum. This is plastic. Uh, I was going to get it, but I instead got the, the JTS shotgun because that was in stock. That's when I think COVID first happened and, you know, everybody's panic buying guns. That was just happened to be there. So yeah, and this one, I could not get more than 15 in. She was tight. So let's just see if it works. <laughs> so much fun, man. So much fun. This is why, this is why you buy a Silver Eagle, man. Just for fucking blowing away microwaves and TVs and shit. It's literally why I bring this gun with me every time. So we only we had like two jams. And one was probably my fault. So doing pretty good. Let me try some Remington shells here and see if they work. Okay, talking a little bit more about the Silver Eagle itself. Uh, the barrel it's not modified or full choke or anything you cannot put choke tubes in it so you can shoot slugs out of it i do it all the time and muzzle device it does help someone recoil it does not kick that bad i was shooting seismic slugs which are 1100 grains out of it it's not bad so first we'll go with these estate shells sorry these estate shells they didn't work before i don't have a whole lot of confidence nope. <laughs> <laughs> so I was about to say I don't have a whole lot of confidence in them <laughs> oh, 
That's all. Okay. I think she might. <laughs> See? They just don't have the oomph. All right, so now we've got the, the Remington gun club. I don't think I ever tried these before, so. They pick pretty good. Yeah, they work great. Okay, so just a little recap. Gun worked great. I mean, how many jams we had? Uh, uh, the estate one, that one didn't chamber. Uh, it might be my fault again with the mag. I don't know. And then one of the, the two and three quarter one, I think that was my fault when I did put in mag. Then there was only really one other. And that one estate, it, it didn't. Yeah, like I said, these ones, they just don't have the oomph. And then one other Winchester. So out of all them we shot, really... Like I said, I knew these wouldn't work. So I really only had one real jam. Uh, so that's pretty good for a bird shot. And for the price point, like I said, you get these four or five hundred bucks. And like the JTS it has it has adjustable gas block. And somehow uh this you I did other videos where I put buckshot, three inch, bird shot, mixed them all in, and it just cycles through them. So overall for the price. It's a great gun just to come out and blast some old TVs, man. You know, I mean, it's, it's not a hunting gun. You can't put choke tubes in it. Uh, defense, yeah, I mean, if it's the only thing. I don't really like these for home defense. They're badass if you, you know, shoot somebody. But me, I'd rather have, like, I usually keep my CZ Scorpion. I got two 40-round mags, you know, flashlight laser. Uh, when you come down to an actual defense situation... You want more ammo, be more accurate, you know, with these you only get a couple shots, you know, so that's my opinion, but they, they would work. I recommend the buckshot two and three quarter, but take it out and try it. So like I said, always try your mags, see what works, see what ammo works. You know, I always try a bunch of different stuff. So the Winchester ammo works great. And the Remington, it seemed to work good too. So get out there and. Have some fun. I'm going to... I think it's a microwave. It's all metal. Check it out real quick. I'll uh, load up some them 3-inch buckshot. And I'll get point blank range. It's funny. The Gabe, the Gabe Warren just drove by and gave me a thumbs up. <laughs> Look how peppered that is. <laughs> That's funny. 